of masculinity, not only from masculinity, all over the world. They need love, they need care. Not to be abused, not to be tortured, not to be neglected, not to be left because their parents have died of HIV and AIDS. Love and care started in Masfumeli in 2003, and we started with a group of sewing. And then the women who were sewing, I discovered that we had five machines with ten women. And I discovered that the ten women, their children, and the mothers, they were HIV positive. So it was very difficult to leave the children at home. They always come with the kids, and they were crying, and they, there was no food. Then I tell them, you know. I would like to see that we keep the kids ourselves, we cook for them, and then when we leave here, we go back home with those kids and we give them more love, which they need, instead of leaving the children at home. Then from 10, it went to 20, it went to 30, it went to 40, and then the priest of the Roman Catholic Church gave us a place in Lake Avata Road. And then we stayed in Lake Avata Road very peacefully, and then the priest was selling the land. So he offered us a million rand, and another lady offered us a 400. Then they gave it to me, and I came and I bought this land where we are. There was no house. There was nothing. I had to start from scratch. But because of God's grace, I managed to get people to give me some money, and I put up the building. And from there, the people started to understand that if they are HIV positive, it is not the end of the journey. When they get HIV, they have got children, they get letters from the hospital, they come with it at night, they come at night. They don't want to come daytime to see them that they are coming from my place, then they are HIV positive. Then they bring the children in the morning and then we come with them here, we give them lunch and breakfast, we nurse them whatever they, it is necessary. We give them love and huggies and, you know, as you see that we're jumping, jumping around with the children. Um, so it came to be that it, the need of the kids became more strong. Then it took me back to my back history myself because I was an adopted child. My father left us with nothing. He sold the land, everything, the beds. My mother remained only with the blankets. So, which means that I was not going to go back to school because my mom had no money and we were in the village, deep in the village. My father was a qualified doctor. My mom was a primary teacher, but those ones of a long time ago. And my mom had to say, I cannot go to teach and I leave my kids without no food. So you had to go to hunt the food, digging and extra. So I ended up in the hands of the Roman Catholic Church and I was adopted by the Cardinal Emmanuel in Subo Gawamala of Kampala Diocese. And that's how my life came to be changed. So when I looked at these kids, some of them, their mothers, they abandoned them. Some of them, they are dead of HIV and AIDS. I put myself in that, in that line. That if my mother was dead, or he decided to learn how to leave us on the street, where could I have been if there was no good Samaritans? I wouldn't have finished the school. I, would, I wouldn't have gone to the university. But because of love of the bishop had, I managed to finish the school. I managed to get married. So I, I, I feel that there is a great need of the children of Maspomere to have an orphanage so that they must not stay on the street, they must not start smoking ticks and drugs because there is no people who cares about them. So I'm trying hard to put up an orphanage which will accommodate 50 kids. Hope things will work out for them and they can have love and can have care, they can go to school. Hope if there is good Samaritans, they will come and give us a hand. <laughs> Oh, my God.